Are you feeling left out because there's no gyre that will fit in your small tank? Not anymore. Hello, this is Jeremy and welcome to another episode of CVTV. Today we are going to go over the setup and installation of the highly anticipated IceCap 1K gyre flow pump. The IceCap 1K is a great option for small aquariums that would benefit from horizontal and vertical water movements only a cross-flow pump can produce. The IceCap 1K is a small single mount magnet supporting a very efficient motor consuming a mere 18 watts at 100% flow with a maximum flow of 1000 gallons per hour. A single 1K pump is suitable for tanks up to 50 gallons, and multiple 1K pumps can easily handle larger systems. For those really small aquariums or hard to get flow areas, this pump is capable of a more compact single propeller operation with the included side cap. The normal twin propeller dimensions of the 1K is 8.8 .8 inches long, while the single side propeller measures a mere 6.75 inches, making it ideal for those nano aquariums. If you wish to convert your twin propeller 1K to a single propeller pump, you simply remove one of the two propeller cages and propeller assembly and insert the side cap over the exposed shaft. So let's get ready for Ice Cap Gyre 1K 101 setup and installation. Before we get started, let's make sure that everything is included and nothing is missing from the box. The box should include 1K pump, power adapter, controller unit with built-in mounting bracket, protective sleeves, spare set of propeller bushings, single side cap, instruction manual. Installing the pump is fairly straightforward, but we must carefully choose the location and orientation of the pump within our tank. We can mount the gyre pump horizontally so that the water is pushed across, or we can choose to set the pump vertically on the rear glass and push water across the back. Once we have selected the optimal spot, it is time to install the pump. First, ensure the glass thickness is no more than half inch. Then. Using a simple razor, we must clean the selected area to remove any algae from the surface. Separate the pump from its magnet bracket and install it in your desired location. These magnets are very strong, so please be careful not to pinch your fingers or have the magnet slip out of your hands, as it may damage the glass or acrylic. We may rotate the flow cages clockwise or counterclockwise to adjust the water flow angle and take note to where the water is directed. When mounting the ice cap gyre vertically, please be sure to rotate the cages so that the water intake is away from the walls of the aquarium. Once a pump has been installed, it is time to mount the controller. Choose a location that is away from heat, excessive humidity, and never mount the controller over open water. Affix the rear mounting frame to a flat surface such as a wall or the outside of your aquarium stand. Please be sure that the cable reaches the pump and that the cable connections have proper drip loops to prevent any of the components from getting wet. Connect the cable from the controller to the gyre and then connect the cable from the power supply to the controller. Finally, connect to the power outlet and run the pump for the first time. Now that the pump is running, let's take a look at the controller and its features. The controller has two buttons, a dial, and an LED display. The power setup button allows you to turn the pump on and off, engage feed mode, as well as set the controller's internal clock. The switch mode button allows you to switch between each of the available options, while the control dial allows you to toggle between the different flow speeds and pulse frequency. The controller features five different flow modes, constant speed mode, pulsing mode, gradual pulsing mode, random mode, and alternating gyre mode. We suggest that you start with constant speed mode to configure your pump's flow pattern, water flow speed, positioning, and direction of the flow cages. The second available flow mode is pulsing. Here you can set the pump to automatically switch on and off at different preset times to recreate the surging effect. 
Gradual pulsing mode is similar to pulsing mode as the pump will turn on and off at set frequency. The difference is that each time the pump turns on and off, it will increase the speed until it reaches the maximum speed we specified. Then, it will gradually slow down and start the cycle again. In random mode, you set the max speed and the controller will randomly select and run different modes to create an unpredictable flow pattern within your aquarium. The fifth and last water flow mode is the alternating gyre. Running in reverse is one of the pump's most unique features. In this mode, in the stock configuration, the pump is capable of pushing water forward and then running in reverse creating a turbulent flow. Now in this video, we will not cover the details of alternating gyre mode. This video is more of a quick overview meant to get your IceCap 1K up and running for the first time. If you would like a more in-depth view of alternating gyre mode and the different flow patterns it can create, please watch our video IceCap Gyre 3K Alternating Gyre Mode. In addition to the flow modes, the controller comes with two operational modes. Manual mode that allows you to configure a single flow mode to run 24-7 and automatic mode, which allows you to create a custom flow regimen in a 24-hour continuous cycle. To set up manual mode, press and hold the power button for three seconds to turn the controller on. Now press and hold the switch mode button for three seconds until the controller displays a letter M. If the controller displays an A letter instead, Press and hold the switch mode button again until the letter A switches to an M. Now press and release the switch mode button once again to enter the setup screen. This screen will flash a setup icon indicating that the controller is in setup mode. The controller will now let you set up the pump. Rotate the dial clockwise to set the desired flow mode. Once the controller flashes the desired flow icon, Press the center dial once to save and continue to the next available option. Depending on the flow mode you have selected, you will now be asked to set different flow variables. Since the pump can run in both forward and reverse, the direction will be shown by a plus or minus sign next to the flow speed percentage. Rotate the dial clockwise to select forward and counterclockwise to select reverse. Once you have reached the desired flow speed and direction, press the center dial once to save and move to the next available variable. Continue this process through all required variables. Automatic mode is set up very similar to manual mode. In fact, the only difference is that you select how long a particular setup will run. To select automatic mode, press and hold the switch mode button for three seconds until you see an A icon on the display screen. Now press and release both power and switch mode buttons at the same time. This will allow you to set the controller's internal clock. Rotate the dial to the correct hour and press the dial to continue to set up minutes. When done, press and release the switch mode button to save. Press and release the switch mode button once again to enter setup mode. The display will now flash a setup icon. As you enter setup mode, you'll see the left side of the display flash a number one. Next to number one, you'll also see a timestamp set to zero. The number one indicates a set point in the scheduling. The controller can have up to 24 different set points. The timestamp indicates the starting point of such set point. For example, I'm going to create a three point 24 hour schedule. I want the first set point to run a pattern from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Then I want a new pattern to start to run from 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. And I want my last pattern to run from 10 p.m. to 8 a.m. the next day. You will need to set the first number to 1 with a timestamp of 0800. Then, proceed to set up the pump up the same way we set them up in manual mode. After setting up the variables for point 1 and you have pressed the center dial to return to the flashing number 1, Carefully turn the dial clockwise until the number 1 changes to a number 2. Set up point 2 to 1400 and following the same sequence as before, create point 3 with a starting time of 2200. Once you have created all desired subpoints, 
go ahead and press the switch mode button once to return to the main screen. The display will confirm the new program and the setup icon will fade away. The controller also comes equipped with the feeding mode. When activated, the controller will shut down the pump for 10 minutes. To activate feed mode, just press and release the power setup button and the controller will display a countdown confirming that the feed mode has been activated. The pump will resume its previous operation mode after 10 minutes. Here are some answers to some commonly asked questions. What is the best mounting orientation for my new IceCap 1K? I get this question asked all the time and unfortunately there isn't a straightforward answer. Every tank is different. Different rock work, random shapes, and different corals. What works for one person may not necessarily work for another. Test different locations and flow patterns until you find something that fits both you and your corals. As a starting point, we recommend mounting the pump horizontally near the water surface on the side of the aquarium. Move it around and pay attention to your corals. They will tell you if they are happy. I'm running my gyre in alternating gyre mode, but it does not move any water when running 100% reverse. What is going on? The pump is producing turbulent flow. If you wish to run your pump as if you had two pumps, you will require a second set of cages and propellers to modify the way the pump is assembled. Watch our video Ice Cap Gyre 3K Alternate Gyre Mode for more details and instructions. My pump did not come with a spare set of cages and propellers. How do I run alternating gyre mode without them? The ice cap gyre pump does not include a spare set of propellers and cages. These are sold separately. To purchase the ice cap alternating gyre mode kit that includes a set of propellers and cages, please head on over to CoralView.com. Well, that is our video for today. If you'd like to learn more about the Ice Cap 1K flow pump, including detailed specs, beautiful high quality pictures, and replacement parts, head on over to CoralView.com. If you have any questions or issues with the product, don't hesitate to visit our support portal at CoralView.com forward slash support. Our friendly support reps are eager to help you with any questions or issues you may have. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all the latest product reviews and tutorial videos. You can also follow us on Twitter at CoralView and give us a like on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash CoralView Aquarium Products.